here's a really <laughs> cute example of two edible mushrooms growing next to each other. So this orange one here is the pretty well known um, saffron milk cap and um, it's not hard to get this one right. There's very few mushrooms that grow in the same area that are this color with that orange stem. They actually bruise green. So oh, you can see that it bruises green. It's safe to eat when it's green. It's just that's what color it goes when it bruises up. And before I put it away, I'm going to make sure it's a bit cleaner. These you can get confused with other species. They always have a slippery top like this. And it's fine because we're going to peel that off when we eat it. And when I pick it, you can see it's got a yellow underside because this is a Belitz mushroom. Um, the other thing about this mushroom is it usually has a purple annulus. So it's got purple spores inside the yellow that drop onto the stem. And so um, you want to look for those signs of that purple there. Um, and then we're going to peel all of this stuff off before we eat it. And we're also going to peel off the spongy stuff underneath because underneath that is a beautiful mushroom. It tastes quite a little bit like custard or butter. It's very nice. We'll cook that one later. Hi, we're out here finding some edible mushrooms near Oberon today. It's the season. It's autumn. Um, we've got some saffron milk caps, which... I'll show you how to do those in a second, but first we're going to do something I've always found quite intimidating, which is slippery jacks. Um, now they look really gross. No. But actually, most of the visible part of the mushroom, we don't eat that. We're going to prepare it um, so that it's delicious and no longer so unappetizing. But if you just use a knife, just to nick it at the side there. And then start peeling it the stuff that's under the brown skin is the part we're going to eat so we, we sort of want to preserve as much as possible of that technically if you're drying them technically you don't need to do anything to prepare them like some people just dry them like this which sort of grosses me out and um use them in soups and pastas and stuff and so i'm just getting all that brown skin off the slippery stuff if it gives you the ick, you don't have to touch it, you can just do it with the knife, just lightly. Just like you, uh, <laughs> you know when you get sunburnt and the skin comes off? You. <laughs> you, right. Yeah, so that's good there. Now for the underside, um, it is edible to eat this spore layer, I don't know if you can see that, but most people don't like it. So again, I'm just going to nick it with my knife. And this part is actually quite easy to pull off, ah. like this. Oh, satisfying. I must admit, this is a little bit satisfying when you get it off in one piece. These are saffron milk caps. Um, they are commonly occurring in pine plantations in Australia. They're not native. They came into this country from other places with the pine trees. Um, but they don't really cause any damage, so it's not a problem. Um, they come out in late autumn. They get really big, big as dinner plates, but they're not very tasty when they get that big. They can be very watery. So I prefer to pick them around about this size when the cap hasn't flipped up yet. That's sort of ideal. They have a little bit of a spotty orange stipe, um, a hollow, airy white inside. They stain orange on your hands and they stain green when you bruise them. Um, they smell delicious. They almost smell lemony, I think. That could just be personal opinion. Now I'm going to fry these in butter today to serve on some toast, simple as best with mushrooms. Um, and you don't need to cut them too small because they are quite watery and once you start cooking them, they're going to go a bit soft. So I usually go for one to two centimetre wide strips. The stalk is not very appetising, so you can ditch that. Interesting fact, they are going to make your pea orange. Don't freak out. You can see that, it's beautiful. And it's very orange, right? So you can't really get that one wrong. Time to cook them now. I've just got Trangia going. 
getting that pan nice and hot. Got some yummy garlic butter. We love butter, so I'm gonna use a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna start with these saffron milk caps. They have a lot of moisture in them, so you do want your pan to be hot before you start cooking them, or you're gonna have mushroom soup. Well, while it's cooking, we're here having a picnic today. So, girls' day, we're having a treat. What's a picnic with our little bit of vino? I'm just gonna cook some of these slippery jacks now. So these have got a very delicate texture, like custard. So you don't want to cut them too small, or you're just going to have them mush. They don't take as long as the saffron milk cap. Mmm, smells good. Not bad. <laughs> Getting a bit toasty. <laughs> Okay, these are already delicious. Nice and fried with garlic butter. Oh, look at that, yum. <laughs> the slippery little suckers, slippery jacks. <laughs> there we go. Hey, cheers. <laughs> Let's dig in.